What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Today we're going to be talking about the coarse hair, coarse hair or coarse air, coarse air, harpoon, RGB wireless. Let's jump right into the unboxing. And then after that, we're going to go over everything about this mouse that I like that I don't like. Let's jump right into it. Thanks for being here. So this is going to be a small mouse for somebody like me who has very large hands and who uses a palm grip. This is not ideal. If you have either very small hands and you like to palm grip it, that's fine. If you like to claw grip, this is going to be what you're looking for right here. Lengthwise, you're looking at four and four and three quarter inches and about 11 and a half centimeters. It weighs in at 99 grams. So for a wireless mouse, it's definitely on the heavier side, but it's it's not necessarily uh, super heavy. I personally like a heavier mouse. I like I like feeling the weight in my hand. Rather... <sighs> you nasty. Anyway. I like to have a heavier mouse. Uh, this one is not super, super light. Some of the really, really light mice, I personally don't like it. A lot of this is going to be personal preference. So it's gonna be a smaller mouse for your claw grip, guys and girls. You do have kind of this aggressive slope on it, and it is gonna be, I forgot to mention, this is gonna be mainly for right-handed people, just given its, its ergonomics with the buttons on the left-hand side and the curvature of the mouse. This is not going to be for you weird left-handed people. So you have the this aggressive curve, and then on the top of it, it curves from left to right, going to it's allowing it to fit in your hand quite nicely. On the very top of it, you do have a DPI switch switcher switch button there for switching to different profiles. So uh, if, if you like to play certain games at a certain DPI, then you can go in and change those setups or, or set up those profiles rather, and you can swap those right there on the fly. The scroll wheel, it it feels cheap, but it's, it's a solid scroll wheel. It, it's nothing to write home about. It is light, but it's sturdy. So really no complaints there. Buttons on the side here. There's not really a whole lot of separation between them. So one thing I noticed very quickly is I use these these buttons here on the side of my mouse for different movements in different games, whether that's melee or or throwing a grenade or whatever the case may be. There's not a whole lot of differentiation between these two buttons. So I found myself sometimes not knowing what button I was pushing and or hitting my thumb on the top plate here because it's so close to these side buttons. So that's one negative about this. I feel like the side buttons were, it was it was hard to tell them apart. The lifespan of the mouse, you're gonna get about 50 million clicks between the for each left and right button, which actually is really high in comparison to some other mice out there on the market right now. As far as battery life goes, you're going to get 60 hours, roughly 60 hours of use with this RGB off, and you're going to get 30 hours of use with the RGB on. So plan on charging the mouse probably a couple times a week, depending on how much you use it. So if you use this mouse all day, every day for work, you're probably going to need to charge it three times a week. If you only use it for gaming and you game an average amount, then you're probably only going to need to charge it about once a week. Although 
keep the cable on the top of your desk and when you're done with it plug it in at night that way when you come in to game or work the next day you just unplug it and ready to rock and roll and that kind of segues me into the next portion one thing that that i really really like and guys keep in mind i've never used a wireless mouse before i've had a wireless headset but i've never used a wireless mouse or a wireless keyboard i i don't have anything against them i have just kind of always preferred wired peripherals maybe i'm just old school one thing that i really really like about this mouse that Corsair did a phenomenal job with was you can switch between their 2.4 gigahertz slipstream dongle that you plug into you a USB and Bluetooth right on the fly. So if this were to make it as my primary mouse, my primary gaming mouse, I could keep the dongle plugged into my gaming computer at home and then simply just when I leave for work, grab this, throw this in my bag, switch it to Bluetooth when I get to the office and connect this as a Bluetooth mouse right there on my work computer. Keep in mind, you're probably not going to want to game on Bluetooth because you are going to notice a little bit of, of stuttering and a little bit of delay. That being said, if you're doing emails, web browsing, documents, that kind of thing, normal office work, you're not going to notice any anything like that. One feature that I do really like is the charging cable is going to act as an actual wire for the mouse. So if you forget to charge the mouse and you go to game, you're not out of luck. You just plug the USB charging cable into it and use it as a normal wired mouse so it will charge while you're using it. So either the next day or in a couple hours of gaming, you can unplug it and then just use it as a normal wireless mouse. You do get this little cover in the bottom of the mouse here that holds the slipstream dongle, and that is a very, very nice feature. Good job, Corsair, on that one. I feel like I don't see that as much on wireless mice as I feel like you should. So, good job on that. While gaming with this mouse, I didn't notice any sort of stutter or delay or anything like that. And maybe I was kind of anticipating that with using a wireless mouse, but I had no problems with it while gaming. And I was I was very impressed. It it worked exactly how a gaming mouse should work. Now I want to talk about what everybody ends up running into whether you think about it at the time or you don't until you plug it in is software corsair uses iq i have a little bit of experience with iq that's their programmable software that they give you with any corsair component that you buy whether it's ram whether it's a rgb power supply a mouse a keyboard a headset Everything's going to run through course or run through IQ, excuse me. Best thing, best way I could put it is IQ is trash. I have yet to find any RGB software that is even remotely good. So unfortunately, I'm still waiting for that. I'm not going to hold my breath, but the software is just not good. It, if you're just looking to be able to go in set the RGB to the color that you want, set a couple different DPIs, then you are good to go. As long as you're not trying to go too in-depth with it, you'll be just fine. I also, I forgot to mention DPI on this mouse, you're going to be up to 10,000 DPI, which is very high. I think I play at like 800 or 1,000, so 10,000 is super, super high. Let's go over my final thoughts on it. Final thoughts for only 40 bucks. It is, it's a good mouse. It holds up. It doesn't creak. It doesn't, it doesn't crack. You know, it, it's solid. It's nothing crazy. It's not the best mouse I've ever used, obviously, uh, because it is only $40. But that being said, I, I think that this mouse has, has converted me into potentially looking for a wireless mouse especially one that has that capability to switch from bluetooth 
to an actual USB dongle, and then I'm using the same mouse at, at work as well as while I'm gaming. For me personally, it's not gonna make the cut. It just, it's not designed for how I hold the mouse. I, I need a big mouse, my palm grip, just like I said. I think that if you're either A, young and have little hands, or just have little hands in general, I guess, uh, or B, you use the claw grip and you're looking for a very solid mouse under that $45 mark, something that will really get the job done, I I would recommend this mouse. Keep in mind the shape of it, but other than that, that really that and the side buttons and IQ are my only three gripes with this mouse. All right, guys, that's going to conclude the video. Short, sweet, to the point. I'll leave a link to this mouse down below where I grabbed it. I think it was like 39 bucks on Amazon. Like I said, if you like the content, please feel free to check out some of my other videos as well as hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're already subscribed, do me a favor, smash that like button. That helps me out a ton. Leave me a comment down below on what you guys want to see a review on, whether it's a keyboard, whether it's a mouse, whether it's a headset, whatever. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what I should check out next, especially with the holiday season coming up. Uh, I'm excited to hear what y'all have to say. Love y'all. See ya.